Well, we know we knew last year that Tropicana was be closing at some point because I know the Oakland A's were coming in with their their baseball team. So I I knew my contract was to the end of March and they hadn't extended it yet. So I was just waiting for that shoe to drop. And of course, this morning I woke up and my phone was blowing up with, "Hey, guess what? I guess we're done April the second. So well, you know, with with a show closing or a hotel closing, you know, show closing is one thing because that's usually you don't sell enough tickets or you're not popular enough. But with a hotel closing, you have no choice whether you sell great tickets or not because they're knocking it down, you know? So, you know, that that Las Vegas Strip, that two and a half miles is probably one of the most famous streets in the world. It's kind of like the Wall Street of entertainers, you know? And the idea is to find a new place. And as you know, on that street, property is uh, very valuable and theaters are very valuable to have an act come in and do a show. Uh, another concern is also in town, things have changed. You know, in the 1980s, when there were Las Vegas shows, there's only maybe about 12 or 20 shows here. Now there's 76 shows a night. So I don't care how great you are or how talented, when people come to see you, there's only so many people that can go see you and so much time. You know, there's a lot of really famous acts too that have a hard time filling theaters. So you think the Tropicana closing, it could be tough for acts out there? Yeah, I think a Tropicana closing isn't one more venue that acts can't play at anymore. You know, people don't realize Tropicana is the hotel that started Siegfried and Roy. And without Siegfried and Roy, there would be no Cirque du Soleil. There'd be no extravagant show. They were really the ones that brought a centricity to the strip, along with Liberace and others. But that they were in the Follies Bergere, you know, in, in that room. So it was Lance Burton, you know. And fortunately, Siegfried and Roy have passed on, and Lance Burton is retired now. You know, he's back in Kentucky. But it's a launching pad for so many different careers. And now it's just me a baseball park now. So that's one less theater or two, because there's a large theater downstairs, of course, our comedy club which our comedy club used to be Rodney Dangerfield's comedy club. He's the one that opened up there years ago.